I'm Mike Krupa, creator of Remodel Benefits. And today we're gonna to talk about why it has been so challenging for employers like you to build an affordable health insurance plan that your employees actually like. And when we're done with that, we're gonna review the Remodel Benefits process, which is a framework to achieve just that goal right there. How do you build an affordable health insurance plan? That your members love. So we'll get there, but first let's dive in to what's been holding you back. I'm going to break it down into three categories right now. The first being your insurance carrier. So back when Obamacare was passed, there was a provision baked in that bill called the medical loss ratio. And essentially what that did was a capped carrier profit margin at 15%. Now that felt like a fairly well-intended bill, but it had some unintended consequences because what the insurance carriers pretty quickly realized is that if they were making 15 cents on every dollar, the only way they were gonna make 30 cents was to raise the cost of the procedures to $2. And that's exactly what we've seen happen in the 14 years since Obamacare was passed is skyrocketing healthcare costs. But who really benefited from that? Well, let's take a look at three of the top insurance carriers and their stock prices over the last 14 years since Obamacare was passed. First up, United Health Group, almost a 1400% increase in the value of their stock. Anthem, now Elevance Health, an 853% increase in the value of their stock, and Cigna, an 800% increase in the value of their stock. While the S&P 500 over that same time period increased 321%. Now here's where I always ask an employer who's offering a health insurance plan, do you feel like you've had almost a 1400% increase in the value of the benefits that you offer your employees? Usually when I ask employers this question, they laugh. Next up is the concept of the PPO network. Most most major insurance carriers will tout anywhere from 95 to 99% of all providers are in their network. Now that feels really good to the member because they can virtually choose any provider they want to, but I'm here to tell you that there's a lot of crappy providers in that network. Worse off is consumers, at least today, don't have great tools at their disposal on cost and quality of a procedure before they actually get it done. And what that does is creates a huge disparity. What I'm going to show you here is a client of mine who was considering remodeling just a portion of their health insurance plan. What this represents here is 10 unique members, all with the exact same colonoscopy. But when we look at the price of these colonoscopies, five of them over here on the left ranged around $1,000. However, as you go over to the right, all the way up to almost $6,000 on the high end. So what gives? Over here in the blue, these are your hospitals. These are the ones that are handling broken bones, COVID patients, colonoscopies, imaging, you name it. They're doing everything. These providers over here, believe it or not, these are your top quality provider. The reason their price is low is because this is all they do all day long. Whether it's colonoscopies or imaging or knee replacements, they do these procedures all day long. They are experts in it, which means the quality is much better and they figured out a way to keep their overhead low. But if you're in a PPO network, when all providers are in the entire network, trying to get your employees to go over here without having good cost and quality tools up front is like throwing a dart at the dartboard and trying to hit the bullseye every time. And by the way, you got a blindfold on. And finally, poor outcomes are just the norm. Look at some of these statistics. 28% of new cancer diagnosis are wrong. 60% of spine surgeries are unnecessary. 60% of bypass surgeries are unnecessary. Lead on to the financial burden that this is putting on employees and their spouses and dependents. 61% of people that are insured have had medical debt within the last five years. And 40% of insured people forego care altogether because they simply cannot afford it. You know, unfortunately, this is the result of the healthcare system today. And because of this and the other things that I talked about, this has been the typical result for a lot of employers. This, These are the strategies most employers like you are used to using to try to control costs. And that's shopping care Carriers every single year that's increasing deductibles and out-of-pocket maximums or if all else fails just pass along additional costs to employees through their contributions this is why the remodel benefits process 
was created. Using the same concepts I learned 20 years ago when I used to remodel homes, I'm now using today. Remodeling health plans with employers. And I'm excited to take you through the next part, which is the remodel benefits process. Tune in next week where I provide an overview of the process.